Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is really a very special evening. We are celebrating 30 years of accomplishment by the Congress of Aboriginal Peoples, formerly the Native Council of Canada, and the people who have made it into the formidable national Aboriginal political organization it has become. Because I am one of your elders, and because I'm so old, I can't remember yesterday, I would like uh, to say to you that uh, for many, many years, I used to be associated for the Native Council of Canada when I was much younger and I could remember the day after tomorrow. <clears throat> and I am here tonight, not only because Peter Connolly and other people have asked me to be here, but largely because I wanted to honor what it is that you have done. And what it is that you have done, there have not been many people around to help you to do it. And now the time has come for that to happen. A considerable number of our native peoples, of our first people, live in urban centers off reserves. More and more of them will come from year to year. And the time has come for us as a people as a nation dedicated to diversity and to the rights of diversity, to recognize the inalienable right of an Aboriginal person to exercise those rights wherever it is that that person lives. I am a French-Canadian, and I have rights by virtue of the fact that I am a French-Canadian. And I can go and settle anywhere in these countries, and these rights are to be recognized. If I were an Aboriginal person, this would not be the case. And I am not going to allow this to take place for a longer time than it has already taken far too long. It is not of dealing with the Aboriginal people. I mean, that is such an absurd statement. It is largely to recognize individual and collective rights for people who have been here for thousands upon thousands of years and who have made it possible for us to live here in harmony because they are sharing the land and their possession with us. It is imperative that Canadians have that written loud and loudly in their hearts and in their legislation in the recognition of the courts so that this will take place and we shall meet not to repair history but to meet fully and completely our destiny. None of us would be here had it not been for the First Peoples to teach us how to live on this land, how to share it and how to protect it. Il est absolument inconcevable que l'on puisse passer beaucoup de temps à discuter ce qui est très vrai. In the space of an hour, we hope to tell our story. It's my story, you know? It's not only your story, Mr. Chief, it's not only your story, it's my story. You know? Because of you, sir, I have been here for thousands and thousands of years. You know, I inherited when I came in the 17th, middle of the 17th century. I inherited you, and you inherited me, and there's no way in hell you're going to get rid of me. <laughs> but I also want to tell you that since this is a gala evening, with the emphasis on the word celebration, we mean to have fun. We are also here to entertain you and us all to the best of the ability of the great artists whom you are going to meet. This is a party. I repeat, this is a party. You will not, hey, come on guys. 
You will not be allowed to leave the room for smoking. The party takes place here. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is now the time for you to step into our moccasins and enjoy the show. <laughs> 